hello everyone i hope you are all doing good so in this video we are going to display the distance of a certain object from the camera using the lidar scanner in iphone so let's get started so let's first introduce the lidar scanner to you if you want to skip this intro you can move on to the next chapter so basically lidar is the light detection and raging scanner that emits a laser to more accurately measure distance of surrounding objects and it has been launched in 2020 in iPhone 20 Pro and Pro Max and then 13 and 14 Pro and Pro Max with some iPad versions and it can create three, 3D representations of close range objects up to 5 meters away. So let's start with the coding part. The AR view container is quite similar to the AR view containers that we have used in the rest of our augmented reality applications. So first we are going to create a view after that a configuration and then we have set certain properties of the configuration and a session delegate and then we are going to basically run this session with the configuration that we have already created update UI view does not contain any body. And then make coordinator is basically going to get us the AR session delegate coordinator and it is going to pass the distance value to it. You have seen that I have created a variable distance with uh, at the rate of binding property. So it is going to basically use the value across two of the objects in a struct and in a class and uh, either one of them can update this value and we are going to then pass this value to the content view.
Another class we have created is AR session delegate coordinator with a binding variable distance just like our AR view container and it is initialized with that distance. Uh, and then there is a function session which is going to basically called after every update of the frame. So whenever it is going to get a new frame, it is going to update the value of the variable distance. distance. And how it is going to do it, basically it is going to get all the um, frame and all the feature points of that frame. And it is then going to get the camera transform and then the closest distance is set to basically a maximum of a flow type value. And then it is going to iterate all the points and get the camera distance from that point to basically the camera and then that distance is compared to the closest distance and if that point is uh, basically near to the camera it is then overridden in the variable distance this is due to the reason that basically if we are throwing a laser it can strike off with multiple objects that are in front of the camera so we are going to get the distance of the object that is near to uh, basically our camera the nearest object so this is going to then update the distance variable so this is all for the AR session delegate coordinator So after completing the definition of class AR session delegate coordinator, I am now moving back to AR view container and complete the body of may coordinator function by calling this delegate here. So as a step one, we have created a content view and a variable distance set it to 0.0, .0 and then a Z stack which will contain our AR view container, which is going to basically get the uh, camera and show you uh, basically the camera output and a V stack that shows some of the spacer and then a text displaying the distance of the object in camera from your device. Do not forget to add the relevant permissions of camera, uh, privacy camera user description inside your info.plist because otherwise uh, if you do not add it, you will not be able to access the camera inside a real device. 
so after successfully building the app i am now going to show you the output of this code so you can see that a distance variable is being updated on the screen and uh, you can see that um, i am basically moving the camera towards different objects to show you how the distance changes when we move the um, camera across objects and there is some basically fluctuation in the value this is due to the reason that if there are multiple objects in front it is going to get the distance from all of them as we are moving so basically uh, we have to keep the camera at a certain position for some time to basically the value of distance to get stable so uh, this is all for the run and testing of this app so guys this is all for this video i hope you have enjoyed learning this lidar scanner usage inside swift ui with me if there are any queries you can post in the comment section lidar scanner is quite an interesting uh, basically hardware part that is added in the iphones um, you can get a 3d reconstruction of a space using it you can find the depth or the basically the length and height of object using it uh, there are a lot of usage of it you can find a lot of interesting tutorials using the lidar scanner i'm going to explore it further in some other videos as well uh, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends uh, keep watching this channel thank you